All right, guys, uh, this is Eric, the OVX Picker, uh, here with another What Sold video. Today is Tuesday, um, and we have a few items going out. Actually, man, pretty exciting day for me. Um, I finally had a day that broke the $500 threshold, um, in large part to, you'll see a little later in the video, one item uh, really kind of put me over the top. But had some great sales. Uh, last night and uh well basically yesterday it would have been monday's sales uh mostly i think there was one of these that came in late um like after midnight so it actually fell on to today's sales but it'll be shipped out this morning uh, with this group the first item up is this ari um i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right or not uh, this is sealed in the pack uh, this is a um, motorcycle helmet shield and it's the dark one um, this thing I picked up in a thrift store we have a local thrift store that occasionally runs 50% off days I went in and got this for two dollars and fifty cent and uh, it sold for seventy five dollars plus shipping and actually um, I was a little lower than a lot of the ones that it had sold a hundred dollars plus so we're gonna make sure we package this up real uh real good um make sure it doesn't get any damage <clears throat> so that'll be going out today uh the next item up uh, was a unique find um i actually found this in um we don't have a bins at our local goodwill in the sense of like the big bins like the people talk about <clears throat> but what they call the bin is like there's I believe it's six tables um, that have just stuff piled up and usually they section it out. Uh, one is usually like uh, bedding or, or <clears throat> blankets and that kind of stuff on it. Uh, then they have some kids ones. Uh, they have a couple, one uh, for girls and one for boys and then uh, one for men and then I think two for women. Uh, but they just pile stuff up on it. And I found this hat. Uh, this is, when I first saw it, I was like, this is kind of interesting. I've not seen that before. It says staple on the side. And uh, this is apparently their logo, the pigeon. And this was a new hat. Had the, uh, still has the cardboard in it. It would be considered, from what my kids tell me, this is a dad hat because it's got the curled bill. Uh, it also has the adjustable strap on the back, but this went out for $14.50, uh, free shipping. That'll be going out today. And then another item that you guys have seen on my channel numerous times that I picked up this Sony Walkman. This is the AM FM weather radio. It also has digital. And I was just doing a little bit more research on this the other day. And apparently ghost hunters use this. Um, there's a way to reconfigure this thing. And it so apparently picks up some kind of frequency. So maybe that's where all these have been going is to ghost hunters. But I don't know. Um, all I know is it went out at $26.50 free shipping. Uh, like I've said on every video, it would have been a little bit more. But it doesn't have the clip. It actually has Velcro on it. Um, so someone had to replace the clips with Velcro. I actually bought nine of these from a local thrift store for $1.50 a piece. And we've more than, more than made our money on those. Uh, we're down to three available, which means I've sold six. So they've been going out pretty steady and uh, thankful for that. <laughs> the next item I got up is this uh, or, or, sorry, Omron, Omron. Uh, this is a blood pressure monitor, uh, manual, the, the old kind with the pump, as you can see on the back. Uh, this I actually just picked up at an estate sale. Um, this thing went out, not a whole lot of profit on this, $9.99 free ship. But I think I ended up paying a dollar for this. So it was a pretty quick turn, the $9.99. Even though I'll probably make about 6 bucks, I only spent about $28 there and got lots of stuff. Um, I've actually... The one, one of my previous what sold videos, the the cleaner that went out, the vinyl uh, cleaner and protector, that was from that same sale. So between these two little sales, the rest of what I sell from the estate sale will be taken care of. 
So that's that's always good when you can get in profit on on buys that you make, and then everything is else is just bonus. This next item is actually my largest flip to date, um, as far as from what I paid to what we sold it for. Um, I was blown away when I got home and saw exactly what this was. This was at a yard sale that uh, we actually weren't that well advertised. We just happened to be going by. It was already like 12 o'clock um, on Saturdays. Typically I take the same route. I go up and pick up numerous yard sales on the way up the beach. <laughs> That's what we call it here, up the beach. If you're going uh, like up towards Walmart and all that stuff. But uh, if you're headed up the beach, then I usually go yard sale all the way up. And then on the way back, we hit the thrift stores all the way back. So we're hitting the thrift stores and then we happened to see there was a yard sale sign on one side of a post that wasn't on the other side of the post. And we almost missed it, but me and my wife both kind of look for that stuff. We're always scouring uh, to see if we happen to miss one that morning or whatever. Um, but that sale ended up being fantastic for me. Um, it's actually uh, been a very profitable sale uh, that we went by. I got a Nikon ca camera body. Um, I got the, uh, I'm sorry, not the Nikon from there. I got the uh, Secret Service patch. And uh, I actually still got that rig right here. A Secret Service patch as well as a um, bottle opener that was Secret Service and it looked like a dog tag. That thing's on one of my previous videos that went out for $35. So I only paid $20 at the sale and I picked up that Secret Service dog tag. I picked up a pair of shoes, those Inove um, weightlifting shoes that are on the uh, the video and then I also picked up um, this item that you're gonna see out of that sale they had this this is a k3 uh, if you can read that Russian writing uh, I don't even try to pronounce it correctly it is a Krasnogorsk uh, this is a 16 millimeter camera and that came in this sale. Um, this originally had $5 on it. Uh, I'd also got another item on that sale. So as you can tell, we're way in the profit uh, on this. I, I checked it out best I could. The buyer messaged me. Um, I put a video up on this item uh, actually on my YouTube channel of me kind of going through it. It's complete. It's got everything. Um, got the, the bag that comes with it. It's got extra lenses. It's got the instructions manual in Russian. It's got uh, an extra reel of a blank film in there and one that was in the camera. It's got the, the grips and all the stuff that goes with it. This thing is a manual camera, meaning you, you actually wind it up and then hit the button and it, it, uh, it goes. I just wind it up just because, just a little bit. So it actually winds down. So you, you have to shoot um, like in shorter stretches. This was when I've done the research. Uh, this was actually one of Spike Lee's preferred cameras that he used in some of the filming that he did uh, early in his career. But I am over the moon stoked with that thing. When I started looking at comps of it, um, they were selling for three or $400. I actually had mine listed for 365. It does have all the attachments and gear that are supposed to come with it. Um, took a best offer on this thing of $300 and plus shipping. So the buyer's all in for 364. Um, that includes the shipping and tax that is paid to the government on sales tax. But uh, man, I'm ecstatic with that with that sale. It's a big one for me. I'm just checking right now. I'll give you the the number crunch, and then I'll probably be putting another video later in the day today. Um, so my total for the day was five hundred seventeen dollars and seven cent. 
um, is what came in. Obviously, that includes shipping and uh, cost of goods and all that stuff in there. But uh, all in all, it's it's been a great sales day on a Monday. Um, so I'll take that. If I could do that every Monday, I would be ecstatic. Um, but so don't, you know, don't ever overlook sales. Uh, that item I didn't look up at that yard sale. I just bundled a bunch of stuff together when I saw $5 on it. And I was like, I figured the case would be at least worth that much. Um, I had no idea what that was inside it other than it was a camera and it looked old. But, uh, that was actually made in the former USSR. So vintage i think in the 80s 84 or so but so exciting day the next thing i'm going to be posting uh past this that will end this video with just the what sold but i'm actually excited i'm moving into my antique booth completing the move um i actually had everything set up yesterday i've got to go in and kind of tweak a little things and there's a, a few extra spaces that i had i wanted to bring a little extra stuff over today uh, to put in those spaces but today yesterday the store was closed so i was setting up with no customers uh the owner actually had put on, out on facebook and some social media about me moving in and having new items and they had several people respond so i'm actually going to be there for the opening today and uh be getting my stuff situated and hopefully see some sales uh, maybe meet some people while i'm there and then uh looking forward to see what happens with that uh, like I told you guys leading up to this, if if you are dealing the antique booth world, um, I'm going to be putting on my Instagram as well as I will be recording a video. I think I'm actually going to record a video, kind of the whole store as well, and um, put that out so that it will help market the store. And obviously my booth is great. But uh, I do thank you guys for watching. If you are a reseller, I do wish you good luck out there reselling if you're new to the channel which i always say most people if they found this channel however they found it uh, most people are new to the channel because i just started doing this recently so uh, it is a new channel but i do appreciate you watching uh do you ask that you would like and subscribe if you would and drop a comment if there's uh any tips you have about the antique booth situation or if you got some tips about youtube that would be fantastic or even reselling um, like I said, it is, I'm just trying to document what I'm selling. Maybe it'll help some of the rest of you guys out picking and, and finding cool items. So thanks for watching.